What's going on guys, this is Gaines Gaming. Today we are going to be setting up my farm account with engineering commanders and units to be using in the ruins. We are currently in the altar of darkness right now and I was just like, holy crap, I need to be using my farms because ruins are the best place to use your farms. So we are going to be investing into Margaret and using her in the open field and seeing how she does. So today I'm gonna to be crafting some equipment for Margaret. We won't be doing armaments because I just don't have the time to do it right now. So I'll have to do that on a different video or a different live stream, but we are gonna go ahead and craft some gear and then expertise Margaret to use her in the open field. So the first thing we're gonna do is craft the Ring of Doom and the Emolating Plume. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. These, in my opinion, are the two best things you should be using for your siege if you are investing into siege. I could be wrong, but this is just my opinion. This is what you can buy in the KVK shop. So I chose to buy one last KVK and we are gonna be crafting it today. What this does is whenever the rares troop deals range direct damage or range smite damage has a 50% chance to increase the damage by 30% with a five second cooldown. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to forge this. Hopefully we get a crit. I shouldn't run out of any materials today, but if I do, that will kind of suck. But we'll go ahead and open this up and see if we get a crit. Here we go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Dude, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Um, but we are going to be increasing the damage now by 39%. Wow, that is insane. I got to send this to Mr. Siege. I was just talking to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, the funny thing is, what if he's like, oh, that's not very good. You shouldn't have crafted that. <laughs> That'll be kind of funny, but I think I still think that's pretty cool that we got that we got a crit on here right away. That is that is pretty fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and do engineering for that. And then we're gonna go ahead and craft our ring of doom. Here we go. And no crit on that one. Okay, that's fine. Well, we are gonna go ahead and craft some of the epic choices that we have for siege. I was thinking about running the Forest Guardian set because I already have that crafted, but you know, might as well just go all in and actually invest into this epic equipment. I had the materials to do so, so we're going to go ahead and do that instead. So we're going to start off with the boots. We're going to go ahead and forge that. We will go ahead and go to the next one that is going to be gloves. Forge this one. Unfortunately, I don't have four pieces for every single one. So I won't be able to, you know, for sure get everything, you know, completed. Um, but... Hopefully we get lucky on refines if we're going to do that today. Um, and then here we go. The Knight's Oath with Bow. We're just going to go ahead and craft all of these because I can always go back and invest into the Legendary eventually. So let's go ahead into Margaret and we'll toss some equipment onto her. It looks like I did not do the helmet yet. So I want to do this before I forget to equip them. And also just so I know which ones I have made already so I don't duplicate anything. So, looks like we are just missing the helmet and the legs. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Going on to helmet. And it looks like we actually don't have the helmet unlocked, unfortunately. But, let's see if we have anything else that we could use instead. I believe I do. I don't even have the Forest Guardian. I could do this one or I could use the Forest Guardian, but the Forest Guardian helmet is not very good anyway. So let's see, we could go March Speed, but I don't really think I wanna do that. Um, we could also just wait to see, you know, when we get this helmet, I'll probably do that. And then I'll just forge the Harvester one for the attack and the defense. Plus we're using Bone, so that's pretty solid as well. And then I believe the legs were the last one we were missing. Nope, what was it, the pants, that's what we were missing. Yep, so we can go ahead and do the pants here. All right, let's go ahead and equip all of that. Hopefully the fighting is not over by the time we get all this completed. Um, but we are going to go ahead and equip all of this. We are going to go ahead and toss um, our Iconic Crystal on here as well, because we might as well. So we're going to go ahead and awaken that. There we go. We can go ahead and awaken our Ring of Doom. This is an expensive day for my farm. Jeez. I mean, this is why I didn't send a ton of gold, because I just spent like 100 million gold on my farm, which is just insane to think about. So what else do we have? 
I mean, I do have like some of the legendary pieces I, I could have done. Um, but you know, right now I'm just not really thinking about that. I'm just trying to get something on the field because something's gonna be better than nothing. So let's go ahead and at least refine this one and get this one crit because that will make a little bit of a difference. And then we'll go ahead and refine anything else that we can in order to get as many crits as possible because that will go a long way. So um, the other thing I have to consider is making a second march, but as of right now, I'm not really planning on doing that. Of course, we get 75% on that because I just won't have the heads to do it. Um, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to try to put more than one engineering march on the field. Um, at least with this farm account, it, it just isn't really in the cards because I don't have the heads to do it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to max Margaret. We're going to fully max her today. That will cost us roughly like 700-ish heads. Well, actually, no, I have one skill in her already. Um, so it won't be 700. It'll be like 650-ish, something like that. But we're going to go ahead and expertise Margaret. And then I'm just watching on my phone right now while we're fighting um, because we were just sitting in a murder ball while I started this video. But looks like everything is moving right now. So I got to get this done quickly. And then my plan as of right now is I already have Gonzalo invested into at 5111. And I will be using that. I won't be investing into him anymore today because we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming up. Um, in a couple of days because we have the new commanders coming in the game. And so I will be investing to Gaja. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I don't have him unlocked yet. So that's why I haven't been able to invest into him. But we're going to go ahead. Expertise Margaret. There we go. Perfect. So now we have Margaret. We have her expertise. I already went through and I chose the best armaments that I have set already. Like I said, I don't have the time in this video to go through all this, but I do have a ton of armament chests to go through. Um, that way, you know, we can set aside a couple hours, maybe try to get Mr. Siege on stream as well to try to open those up um, because, you know, that will allow us to perfect our armaments a little bit more. Um, I got tech as far as I can get it with my Siege. Um, so I have attack formation 6 out of 10 as far as I can get it, improved projectiles as far as I can get it, and then improved projectiles one as far as I can get it. So the so next thing we're going to do is make sure we just have the right setup. So we're going to go Margaret and then we are going to use, where is he? Gonzalo. There we go. And then we have a couple of different options here. We are obviously going to be using normal damage and then we are also going to be using 25% more damage to troops with less than 50% units remaining. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We'll go full siege and then we're going to make a different preset for this. We'll go ahead and do that. Don't really need these. I don't know why these are on here, but go ahead and do that. So I just have to remember it's red one. Um, so now we have that set. I will go ahead and pop an expansion. I'm going to do 25% just because I want to save like that for Kingsland. If we're going to do something like that, we'll go. Actually, let's go defense instead of attack. There we go. All right, now we can go ahead, we can get her out of here, 250,000 units, and there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and march ourselves over here, and we'll see what's going on. It's like we're pushing them back, so I should have a pretty good window to get into here. I um, just want to make sure, I've never used Siege before, so I think, yeah, switch to range mode. So I just have to do that, um, and then it'll automatically be attacking stuff. So I'll be putting that like right about here and I'll just monitor it and make sure we are. Um, yeah, I, lo I love the wake up signal because I'm like right here. Yeah, I've just been kind of sitting there making this video, but that is going to be it. We're going to go ahead and I'll cut to some footage of me actually fighting with this and I'm going to see how the first report goes as well. Um, I won't make you guys wait the, you know, five minutes it's going to take to get over there. Um, but we are going to go ahead and see how we trade um, and see if this is worth it because, you know, this is something I've never done before. So we are going to see. I'm excited to see how it goes um, right now. Comment down below how you think I'm going to do. Um, I'm hoping for like an even trade. If I can trade positive, that will be absolutely fantastic because, you know, obviously I do have Margaret expertise, but, um, you know, Gonzalo, he's only five one one one. Um, so, you know, obviously I'm missing most of his kit. Where do you go? There he is. Um, so, you know, I am doing the most amount of damage I could be doing, but I am missing, um, you know, some March speed, some attack bonus, extra smite damage. Um, I'm missing his third skill, which arguably is probably his worst skill, but his fourth skill is very solid. Um, having that 40% range normal damage bonus is pretty insane. 
Um, but like I said, I am hoping to invest into Gaja or Gaha, however you say it, um, because Mr. Siege, that's what he recommended is to run Margaret and Gaja Mata. Um, so we'll probably be doing that because, you know, he's the expert. So we're going to listen to the expert, right? So hopefully this goes well. I will go ahead and cut to that footage right now. All right, there we go. We got first blood on that Guan Yu. See a skill cycle, maybe. Come on, get a little closer. Dang it. Oh, we traded even there. I mean, like we talked about, if I trade even, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can bait them in with my main a little bit. No, they're all running away. And one thing to also show you guys on this account, for example, is my total technology. So as you can see, I don't have this level 25 because I can't upgrade it to level 25 yet. But if we look at technology, I have all these 10 out of 10, cartography, five out of five. I have ballistics and heavy frame, both as far as I can get it. I also have medical core. I have encampment and combined arms, all nine out of 10. So this is as far as I'm going to be able to get it because in order to get Academy level 25, you have to be able to upgrade your castle to level 25, which you also need your line center to 25, which I could do, but eventually I need my watchtower up to level 25 and my wall up to level 25, which also requires my tavern. So, you know, all of these things, like if you guys remember grinding the T5, if you are T5, you know how hard it is. And it just isn't really worth getting the T5. I'm not going to use T5 anyway. Uh, I mean, obviously, like 9% defense and 9% health is pretty substantial, plus an additional 6% defense over here. Like that will add up quite a bit. However, I just don't really think it's worth the amount of, you know, gems, materials, speed ups, everything in order to get there. I just don't really find it worth the amount of time it's going to take or the amount of resources it's going to take to get to that point. I'm pretty happy with where it's at. So, you know, it's it's not the end of the world if you don't have all that stuff maxed out for a farm account. Um, I mean, this is without a skill cycle too. So this is just like basically counterattack damage. Um, you know, obviously T5 versus T4 as well. So it's going to play a role there too. Um, but once we get skill cycles going, that might change how we, how we see that stuff. So we'll have to see if we can get a skill cycle and actually get some pretty good damage. We'll see. All right, so here I was able to bait them a little bit closer. I had to move out of the ruins to do this, unfortunately. Um, but I just wanted to see how it actually worked with the skill cycle because I have never done this before. So you can see right about here, I'm about to get my skill cycle to go off right there. And that is actually going to do AOE damage. You can see that little circle and that actually did a decent amount of damage. So we'll be able to see the reports from this, uh, kind of like simulating what an actual murder ball situation will look like when you get that extra AOE value. And surprisingly, it does very, very well. We'll be seeing that here in a second, but that AOE does a lot of damage. Obviously, like not as much of my main, but for a farm account, just for sitting there and, you know, being able to still fight on my main, you can see my main running around fighting too. That is pretty fantastic. Be able to just basically just leave your march there and get a ton of AOE value um, from Margaret and from Gonzalo. So, you know, definitely something that you can consider going forward. But let's go ahead and take a look at these reports. All right, well, I think that's all the fighting we're going to get in this scenario. So we're going to head back to the ruins. But let's see what all we got. We got 169% kill ratio. That's not too bad. 13,800 to 13,800. I mean, let's see here, 20,000 to 65,000. Trade a positive on this one. Trade positive on that one and on that one. Holy crap, geez. That's actually not bad at all. Wow. All right, so now we are in a situation where this is basically simulating what a murder ball will look like. And right away you can see my Margaret is already very low in health. I mean, to begin with, she had like 250,000 total units. So nothing too crazy to begin with. But, you know, especially using T4, it's obviously not going to go very well. And one thing that, like, I, I might need to talk to Mr. Siege about this when it drops the skill cycle like that. I wonder if it's because the target that she is targeting dies. And so it just resets her skill cycle, which kind of sucks because there were a couple times where she was, like, right at the top of her skill cycle, but then, you know, wasn't able to get her skill off. But there I just got absolutely destroyed. All right, let's see how that went. 
I mean, obviously, at the very end, I got absolutely destroyed. Let's see how bad that was. Yeah, 51k, 63k. But, I mean, I feel like that just destroys the entire report. But, I mean, half a million kill points from just sitting there? I mean, honestly, like, if you trade even, that is pretty much all you can really ask for. And, I mean, besides getting killed there, like, if I... If I got killed from doing the counterattack damage, that would be fantastic. Like, that's really all you can really ask for. But if you get hit like that, you get absolutely wrecked. Like, this is kind of the report that you get when, you know, you're just not getting hit. You're the one hitting them, which 85k to 330k, especially them having all T5, that's going to be, you know, a pretty good report in the grand scheme of things. Like, if I'm actually fighting with a real march, like melee fighting... Like, I would not be able to trade like this on a farm account. But with ranged combat, you can, even though they have five times as many troops as you do. So, honestly, like, I am pretty, pretty happy with how this is going, all things considered. Like, not having a maxed out Gonzalo, um, you know, not having all special talented gear, having all T4, not having good technology. Like, all of that, all of that considered, this is honestly pretty solid. I'm pretty excited to see what all I'm able to do with these range marches on this account, on my other farm account that I'll be doing. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a live stream or another video where we basically go over everything, including armaments, because that's you know the one thing that we're also missing right now is armaments. But since I was able to get a little bit more fighting, I just hit record and was like, okay, I'm just gonna add this in the video because you know I actually got some fighting in. Um, so you know that way we can actually see how we did in the grand scheme of things, even though like obviously I started that fight with barely any troops. Um, I think I started with like 130,000 or something like that. So obviously I was already half dead to begin with, but with a half dead March, that is not bad at all. All right, guys. So comment down below. Do you think it is worth investing into siege on your farm accounts or even on your main account? Because honestly, this trade is pretty fantastic. And this is just a small sample size of what could be had if you invest into siege. And again, this is with a max Margaret and a 5111 Gonzalo. So comment down below what you guys think if you guys are planning on investing in a siege or if you're waiting for them to release the epic commanders into game. Thank you for checking out the video. Have a great rest of your day.